the Trinidad and Tobago Electricity Commission is moving towards using more renewable energy and or from natural gas. And to do this, there is need to make amendments to the legislation. TNTEC's general manager, Courtney Mark, says the company completed a pilot solar project and a small-scale wind resource survey in Tobago towards the implementation of renewable energy locally. TNTEC has completed a manual entitled Wiring for Renew Renewables in anticipation of an expanded renewable energy implementation at the domestic level and the publication hinges on amendments to the TNTEC Act. Um, this is work associated, I have to say, in a practical way, because if you are going to roll out something locally, you have to have some regulations, some guidelines to determine how customers must wire their premises, what are the standards for the circuit breakers and circuit labeling, and the whole incorporation of renewable energy into the wiring code and, and connectivity. He said this was done to ensure TNTEC is ready and prepared for when there are amendments to the legislation to allow interconnection to renewable energy into the system. So with the introduction of renewable energy, where at the domestic level particularly, you can have installations which can now house PV cells or wind turbines, which allow for a production of surplus energy to flow from something called an installation back onto the grid is at variance with the legislation. Because if you are flowing from something to the grid, well, then you are a generator. You are not an installation anymore. So in simple terms, we have to get the, um, the, the, the act amended to say that an installation is not just something can receive power, but can also, through other means, generate and put power back on the grid.